Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom! Last time, we beat a boss and got ourselves a heart container! Ta-da! Oh, it's still on one line. Oh my gosh. Alright. Hi, buddy. You gonna tell me the same thing that all the other sages have told me? Probably! <laughs> Touch. All right, here we go. Time for the fourth repeat of this story. Little Rock. I've heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. Right. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. Okay, you okay. Using yep. your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the demon king who summoned it. Right. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Right. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. It's not our first then time. Listen carefully to what I have to say. It's kind of familiar territory. Let me tell you about the imprisoning form and the duty of our people. This is a little repetitive. But, you know... Gotta have it ready for whoever discovers this the first. Of Hyrule's earliest days. Right. A great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Right. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Rauru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. Okay. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. But it wasn't enough. We were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. Yes. We keep getting told that. that. Was the imprisoning war. And then some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. Right. Demon King will return. It's time to start help Link. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> when that time comes. A noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. Yes. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. Okay. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. Cool. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the demon. 
Demon King is still out there. Yes. Uh, we're definitely going to you do know, something about that. Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the sword. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop after this episode. I am getting tired. Uh, it is almost midnight. So it's my duty to help you fight? Yes. Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Yep. Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. All right. Very cool. Good for you. Nice. I am the Sage of Fire. I've got an awesome new power, Goro. Nice. Well, happy to have you aboard. Metaphorically. We don't have a ship. Not a permanent one, anyway. Link, hold out your fist. Hmm. Aw, yeah. You can count on the Sage of Fire. I'll fight by your side till the very end. And take this. It's proof I stand with you. I just got a rocket strapped to my back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's not safe. <laughs> okay. I can't help but notice that we still have a blank finger. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, All right. let's head back. Well, everything is a okay for now. Any moment now. Any moment now. There we go. All gone. Now get back to work. <laughs> the economy is in shambles. We got to get it back. We got to get started again. Well, they do. I I'm a freelancer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi. I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. I oughta. No, please don't be mad at President Unobo. Oh. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful. <laughs> you said you'd put Goron City back to normal and you did. Oh. You're, 
the hero of Goron City. And you were when you made Yunoboko, and you still are now. I, I, thank you, Goro. And we have to thank you too, Link. Uh, you got rid of that marbled rock roast, and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Uh, no, I can't even think about it. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking towards that giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Yunobo, do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Ah. Like maybe that the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Huh? Uh, no way! Yeah. Uh, hang on, come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time... She said to help the princess, the swordsman, Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. I'll ask my guys at Unobo Co. to search the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. You can count on me. All right, Valve Unobo. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's not go digging up any more re weird rocks. You got that, President Unobo? All right. Oh. Hey, Link. You've visited Rito Village, Azora's Domain, and Gerudo Town. You've gathered a lot of info by now. Oh. Why don't you go back and report it all to Pura? I'm sure she's eagerly awaiting you, waiting for you. That's true. Yeah, we should probably head over there, shouldn't we? Um, why not? We'll see what our next objective is, and then we will go from there. Uh, we probably don't want to go right away, because um, probably the last thing that I'm going to be doing is fighting the final boss. So I would like to at least find all of the shrines, which we're at 77 of, I believe, 120, if I read online correctly. Um, I wasn't even looking for the information, I just happened to see something related to it, so... Is it true? From here? Ooh. Everyone's been saying Princess Zelda might be in Hyrule Castle, but, I mean, uh, Princess Zelda, how did you get way up there? Also, Slurgo, how did you beat me here? What the frick? Pura! Offrack, you're here too? Hey, it's President Yunobo's friend. Listen to this. I heard Princess Zelda might be in Hyrule Castle. Yeah. But it's tough to see from here. Miss Pearl is so lucky t with that fancy scope of hers. Well, I definitely don't see nothing. Pearl! What's going on? Yeah. Linky, I heard what happened. Hmm. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito, and the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Uh, then there was the sludge contaminating the Zora's water, and finally, the Gerudo menaced by Gibdos in a sand shroud. You faced some serious challenges, and you overcame them all. And you overcame all of them. Well done, Link. So, the person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all of the phenomena, as you discovered. Uh, this has to be related to the upheaval somehow. And I have something important to share as well. Hmm? Okay. What's going on? Oh no, not another blood moon.
That's concerning. That looks like Zelda, but Zelda's a dragon now. Your Highness. <gasps> okay. Huh? Oh, Linky, did you see that? That was the princess, wasn't it? I was going to share what I saw that I saw a figure that looked an awful lot like Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. I thought she'd left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We have to hurry and rescue her. The soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle at Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. Ugh, I'm sorry, Link. I know I'm always throwing you into dangerous situations. But you really are the only one up to the task. Please, come back in one piece. That applies to both you and the princess, got it? Okay. Um... So I don't know if this... is going to lead me to the final boss, or if there's something more. Um... So, I'm not going to go there just yet. We're going to do other stuff this episode. Check it out this fabulous... Some, okay. Wordsworth went back to Kakariko Village. Okay. So I know that those ancient Hylian stuff, um, we can go to Kakariko to learn more. I'm worried sick about everyone in Lur uh, Lurin Village. Hey, maybe I should head back there and scope out the situation. Don't be ridiculous. The pirates are really dangerous. Losing my hometown was enough, but losing you too? Not an option. Ah, uh, a customer. Sorry about that. We were caught up in conversation. The pirates are all dead. The pirates are already gone. And Rosal and everyone from the village are okay too. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. They're all safe. I was beside myself. Thank you for bringing us the best possible news. Please have this as a sign of our gratitude. Nice. Oh. That mighty salt grilled crab is my finest cooking. It's a dish that really brings out the warrior in you. Please enjoy. Mm. With the pirates gone, I have to wonder how our little shop back home is looking. Even if I have to go to, on my own, maybe I should return to Lurin Village. Oh. Even with the pirates out of the picture, there's work to be done. They're going to be busy for a while rebuilding the houses and shops. Mm. Without any woodworking skills, you'd just get in the way if you went back now. Instead, we should focus on saving up money in the meantime. Oh. That way, once the village is restored, we'll have the means to reopen our shop there. Oh. You're right. Let's keep the business here rolling until the village is back to normal. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, let's see. So... Oh, that's one thing that I could do. Um, let's see, where is it? This. Okay. I would like to go to these two places. Um, these two being the top right and the one in the middle. Um, because we, this, the one we're at, the one we took this picture at is the one there in the middle on the Great Plateau. And the left is the Yiga Clan's main base. 
and I'm thinking we found the headpiece at the Great Plateau. If we go to these two other locations, we should find the other two costume pieces, and then we might be able to get sneak our way into the main Yiga Clan hideout when we have all three of the pieces. Okay. That's what I would like to do. So it's around... Is it Makara Island? Is that where it is? Let's go see. Oh, and as soon as we start walking, we're going to get introduced to the shadow clone of... Um, oh gosh, I've already forgotten his name. That's so bad. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Yep, here we go. You know about... Why did I... Why, how did I forget that already? Okay. Um... I feel suspicious. We got a restless cricket. Cool. I don't know if this is actually where we'll need to, where this hideout is gonna be. But it's definitely suspicious. Also, I still need to get into the Lost Woods. At some point, that will happen, maybe, but... This has a single tree on it. It feels a little suspicious. Great. Um... Yeah, you know, um, maybe let's not. Well, that sure was something. Um, let me take a look at that map again. Oh yeah, it's definitely not in the water. It's definitely up this hill. Okay, I don't need my fire protection. What I do need is my sticky um, outfit. <laughs> That's one thing I'll probably do in the next few episodes, is work on trying to get all of the um, reporter quests done. Because, yeah, being able to just ignore the fact that it is raining would be fantastic. Oh, there's a... How did I not get... I double tapped. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, well we found a Korok. It's not what I was looking for. I vaguely know what the entrance looks like now, so... Just trying to keep an eye out. Oh, I think it's... Is it there? I think it's right there. Yep, okay. It's right on the other side of this lip. All right. Here we go. <laughs> mm. 
Master Koga, stay on your guard. Who's there? Your Link! Come to free our tailor, have you? You'll have to get through us first. <laughs> Ow. Wow. You're really pathetic. Slam him! Ow. I'm sorry. How did that hit me? I don't think that counts. Okay. Well. That's unfortunate. Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's get this over with. Some mighty bananas. Book. Um, this cave is a natural fortress made up of five chambers. All members are to memorize the route to the hidden room containing our uniforms in the map to, of all our branches. Remember, follow the eyes of the frogs. The, punish, the punishment for letting this secret out will be most severe. Right. Okay, uh, I think we'll probably end it at this episode, at this uh, part. Um, once we find the piece of equipment. I really should not have been using this to break boxes. That was excessive. Whatever. Pardonnez-moi! Hello? Perfect. Okay, should probably switch to a hammer. At does much better. It would also help if I aimed. Oh, really? Blood Moon's coming up. How is this not the secret room? Yeah, it said to follow the eyes of the f frogs. Oh, okay, there's one above us, too. When the glow I really don't care. <laughs> the Yiga aren't coming back. I'm fairly certain about that.
Finally, I've been waiting. If a pretty lady is in distress, the hero will arrive to save her. Everyone says so. So this is entirely expected. Hmm. But that's strange. The hero is supposed to carry a legendary sword. And that weapon on your back? It doesn't look legendary at all. Not even when I squint. Uh. I guess the hero is just a fairy tale. Me? I've been making outfits for the Yiga clan since they kidnapped me. I mean, I like fashion, but I couldn't even sew. Did they listen? No, of course not. It was... It wasn't so bad once I got used to it, though. Honestly, I've been getting a little attached to the outfits I make. Attached enough that I don't want to hand them over to the Yiga clan anyway. <laughs> this isn't my size, but it might fit you. Here, take it so it, I can keep it out of their grimy mitts. Yiga tights! Wow. <laughs> Careful, folks will think you're part of the Yiga clan if you wear the complete set. But these tights are so nice, a little coordination of any kind could really snazz up your look. Thanks for coming to save me, really. You might not be the hero, but you are my prince. Well. Great. Um, we've received deployment info from the hideout. All interested parties should contact the head of their desired division. Uh, Merchantile Division manages sales of weapons and provides provisions to Yuga Clan... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mastery of the Earthquake Technique. Training available through the Training Division. Uh, okay. Well. I think... Oh, right. There is that shrine still. Uh, since we're so close. We're not going to do it this episode, but I'm gonna put myself in front of it so I remember to do it. Okay. Um, just over this way. Alright. Well, that is gonna be it for today. So next time, we will go ahead and do that shrine directly in front of us, and then we will head off to... Akala, the ancient tech lab, um, which it seems like has been taken over by the Yuga clan, if uh, the implications are to be believed. So. Oh, frickin' Addison, really? Well, <laughs> I guess I'll situate myself right next to you and we'll take care of it then. Alright. Well... Yeah, so next time we will help Addison fix his sign. We'll do the shrine. We'll go kick Yiga butt again. And then uh, we will sneak into the main Yiga hideout over here. I think it's right around here. Uh, oh, no, it's it's this. It's right there, I believe. Um, and then, yeah, we will do that and i think we'll we'll like f figure out this earthquake technique maybe it seems like it it's implying that we're going to learn it so that'll be interesting uh but for now that is all the time we have for today so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like and if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out go ahead and hit subscribe but for now that's it so see ya